Hello, Colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Anso Fati as it has been reported that the 35 million euro rated Barca forward will consider exit only if Javi asks him to leave. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then, secondly, Talking on this other report, claiming that sporting director Matteo Alemani met with Besiktas counterpart to discuss on future player exchange deals possible. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you always stay up to date. Give the video a like and please watch the video right up to the very end. Ansu Fati's future has become a point of contention at Barcelona, following a relatively poor season at the Camp Nou, where there have been calls for Barca to offload the forward in the coming summer as the club looked to bring in fresh funds. The Catalans for Japan have more or less appeared quite willing to cash in on Fati, who has struggled to live up to the expectations since returning from injury. However, Fatih, whose market value at this point is 35 million euros, has shown no desire to leave Camp Nou this summer. He wants to fight for his place in the team, despite falling behind the likes of Rafinha, Usman Dembele and Gavi in the pecking order this past season. According to journalist Sijke Rodriguez, Fatih remains keen on prolonging his stay at Barcelona, although his agent, Jorge Mendes has made efforts to convince him to move elsewhere ahead of the new season. He has no desire to jump ship right now. However, he would be willing to change that stance if manager Xavi Hernandez tells him to leave the club. Ansu Fati, who tallied 7 goals and 4 assists in La Liga this past season, has never been the same since returning from his injury. His continuity at Camp Nou, therefore, poses question marks within the Barca camp, more so given the need for player sales this summer, especially with Xavi ready to call on some of the young forwards as part of the pre-season training campaign, the club will not mind selling Fatih, who could still fetch a fortune in the market due to his vast potential. However, all is not lost for Barcelona, as per the report, Fati would consider an exit from Barca if Xavi personally asked him to leave and conveys to the player how his first team prospects could dwindle next season. In the meantime, the Blaguena should focus on other exits, including Ferran Torres and Frank Kissier, as they continue to trim the squad and reduce the salary mass ahead of the upcoming transfer window. Of course, Ansu Fati has been making a lot of headlines these past few days as his future remains so uncertain. Barcelona want to cash in on him because of the financial issues that the club are currently going through. Fati have resisted that he won't leave no matter what. And despite his agent Josh Mendes pushing him to leave, the player have insisted that he doesn't want to leave and he still sees himself you know, part of the club in the future. And now this report claiming that unless manager Javi convinces him or tells him personally that Fati, I won't count on you next season, then from there he will consider leaving the club. Of course, Barcelona are trying to ensure that sales take place, which is necessary for players to be bought in order to have a successful transfer window as well as complying with the financial fair play. Of course, Fati had a terrible season, we all know that, but it can be it, it, people can see it as harsh if Barca sells him this this summer because they don't they don't or because they want to follow the financial fair play they want to comply and balance the books in order to to buy new players, but Fati does not see it that way. Fati still believes that he shouldn't be a victim of what Barca are going through. He shouldn't be the scapegoat of what Barca are going through. You know, the other day Bori Fati still came out and said the way Javi and the uh, and the club in general are treating his son, he's so disappointed and he wants Ansu Fati to leave Barcelona. He has been pushing Ansu Fati, it didn't even start today. Borifati has been trying his best, even I think in the month of March when he came out 
to the media and gave that that hot that harsh interview against Xavi and Barca, blasting them about the way Ansu Fati have been treated. You know, Boris Fati have not changed on that. He still said the other day that Fati needs to leave this club because it would destroy his career. It would destroy his career. You know, so let's see what happens in the future. Ansu Fati's future still remains in serious doubt. He has interest in Premier League, Manchester United has now shown interest, you know, so a lot still needs to be decided. Because to be honest, from the way things are looking, if a if a huge bid come for Ansu Fati, Barca will definitely sell because of temptation for money. The club needs a lot of cash to bring into the covers and to ensure that player purchases will take place smoothly without any hitches. So let's see how it goes. As Frank as um, players like Ferran and Frankisi also have very undoubt um doubtful futures in Barcelona as they are linked with an exit as well. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, FC Barcelona director Matteo Alemani had a meeting with Besiktas sporting director Sheyun Kazanchi as well as an intermediary, Isaac Tumulu, report Gigantes FC. The report goes on to state that there may be a possibility of player exchange deals taking place between the two clubs in the near future when the economic situation of the Blaugrana improves. Alemani came close to leaving Barcelona recently, having announced his departure from the club. A move to Aston Villa was so close until he suddenly performed a U-turn and decided to continue with the La Liga champions. Since then, the 60-year-old has been busy choking out plans for the summer transfer window for the Blaugrana as he needs to navigate the financial fair play situation why hoping to get manager Xavi Hernandez all his intended and targets. The meeting with the Besiktas director and the intermediary comes off as a surprise, considering that Barcelona have not had any links with any player from the Turkish outfit. The two clubs were involved in a deal in 2021 when former Barca midfielder Miralem Pjanic joined Besiktas on a season-long loan deal before leaving the club for Sharjah FC permanently last year. Samuel Umtiti is another player who had been linked with the Turkish outfit last summer before his move to Leche, with a Frenchman now set to return to Barcelona. It will be interesting to see if Besiktas rekindled their interest in his services. For now, there is no mention of any specific player in that report, but there is a possibility that future deals, potentially player exchange operations, could make or could take place between the two clubs. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.